Hey, hi there, Jamie here from The Hedge Teacher. After having a great talk with a, a good friend of mine called Matthew, he told me my video on blockchain was, was okay, he said it was good, but he still felt a little bit confused by it all. Could I explain it again in ways that everyone can understand? And of course I said, yeah, sure. So here we go. Let's have a, a very basic look at blockchains and blockchain technology, and especially blockchains in relation to cryptocurrency. So what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a digitalized, decentralized public ledger of all cryptocurrency transactions. So let's break that down. Digitalized is it converts, say in this case, data to digital form that can be used in a computer. Decentralized cryptocurrency has no connection with any state, government or entity. The platforms do not require information to pass through a single point. Instead, there are many points that connect, known as peer-to-peer -peer network. Public Ledger gets its name from the age-old record-keeping system that was used to record information like agricultural prices and transactions. It was available for general public viewing, as well as for verification. In its simple form, a digital or distributed ledger is data held and updated independently by each participant or node in a large network. Blockchain is a specific type of distributed ledger. This unique form of distributed ledger technology provides the management of digital currency without the need for a single central administrator. Instead, every event that happens on the blockchain is managed and approved by the people using it. They are called the miners. And this, in effect, is a public ledger. The transactions are then accepted onto the ledger in a block. Then another block and another block, hence the name blockchain. The ideas behind the technology is to create friction-free financial transactions that can be used online anywhere in the world without the need for government or intermediaries regulations. In transactions carried out by banks, this level of information is only available to the two banks involved. So this is how blockchains work. Every block contains the hash of the previous block. A hash value, or simply hash, also called a message digest, takes an input or message and returns a fixed size alphanumeric string. This has the effect of creating the chain of blocks from the genesis block to the current block. The genesis block, or block zero, is the first block of the blockchain. It is the ancestor that every other block in the chain can trace its lineage back to. Each new block will come after the previous block chronologically because the previous block's hash would otherwise be unknown. Each of these blocks is computationally impractical to modify once it's been in the chain for a while because every other block after it would also have to be regenerated. This is what makes cryptocurrencies irreversible and more secure. For any block on the chain, there's only one path to the Genesis block. However, there can be forks. Usually this happens when two blocks are created just a few seconds apart. When that happens, generating nodes build onto whichever one of the blocks they received first. This goes on to the longer chain, and any others that are in the shorter chain are re-added to the pool of Q transactions and will be included in another block. Any computer that connects to a network is called a node. Nodes are computers in the network of a cryptocurrency which receive new transactions and blocks. They validate these transactions and blocks format them and ensure no double spending. They spread these valid transactions and blocks to connected nodes and ignore invalid transactions and blocks. As long as these nodes are visible to the network, 
you can count them. The number of nodes correlates to the security and liveliness of the network. There are cryptos with under 50 nodes running worldwide. I would suggest not to buy these cryptos because they just might simply disappear. So blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer network with a distributed database. That is a group of computers that are linked together with equal permissions and responsibilities for processing data. They are connected to each other via the internet. Each node has a copy of this database and consensus protocols keep this in sync. All transactions are pseudonymous, meaning that they are not linked to your identity in the real world. You can use a number of identities and addresses for your security. At the moment, the technology is primarily used to verify transactions within cryptocurrencies, although it is possible to digitize, code, and insert practically any document onto the blockchain. By doing this, it creates a permanent record that cannot be changed. It is then authenticated and verified by the entire community using a blockchain instead of a single centralized authority. This is why the technology is attracting not only financial institutions and stock exchanges, but many other fields like music, insurance, property transactions, gold and silver, and IoT devices. IoT being Internet of Things devices. This can also be used for voting systems, vehicle registrations, medical records, and even confirm ownership of, of artwork and, 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 and antiques. This potential for distributed ledger technology to simplify current business operations has already developed new models and is replacing the expensive and inefficient accounting and payment networks of the financial industry. A recent Goldman Sachs report suggests that it could save the stock market operators up to $6 billion a year. Widespread adoption of DLT or distributed ledger technology will bring huge cost savings and minimize processing delays, which means less capital being held against risks of pending transactions. Electronic ledgers are much cheaper to maintain than traditional accounting systems, thus the number of people in the back office can be greatly reduced. And a nearly fully automated DLT system will have fewer errors with the elimination of repetitive confirmation steps. This incredible opportunity offers the ability to create businesses and operations that are both flexible and secure. These services are on the rise with the technology maturing and advancing at incredible speed. I believe cryptocurrencies and blockchains will gain legitimacy for business transactions and will become the preferred tool for these transactions. People all over the world are buying cryptocurrencies to protect themselves against devaluation of their national currencies, their fiat currencies. And more and more companies are discovering the power of smart contracts, as this is the first real-world application emerging from the blockchain technology. Institutional investors are buying cryptocurrencies. The banks and the governments realize that this invention has the potential to take their control away, and they don't like it. There is a lot more to learn about blockchains and its technology. You can either stand by and observe, or you can become part of history in the making. It's your choice. Please, don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe and share this with your friends and your family. We have to hear your own future. If we don't look after ourselves, no one else will. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.